There is one way a country can get rid of bikers they don't like. Just deport them for someone else to worry about. The mob reporter here with news that despite the global pandemic, Australia is aggressively using its controversial Section 501 exclusion orders again. Chartering two jets this week and frog marching 31 foreigners aboard for deportation, including Mace Sadop, a high profile member of the Rebels Motorcycle Club, who is named as their president of the Victoria chapter. Mace goes by a lot of different names, including Ray Elise, but these guys examining his passport before his forced flight say it's Mace, so I'm going to go with that one. His usual public presence looks more like this, in his Rebels MC colors, hanging out with colleagues, or highlighted in local media, or on his extreme chopper with a stretched front end, aggressive ape hanger handlebars, and Rebels MC paint job. Mace's problem in Australia is that he's a citizen of New Zealand. Australia's Immigration Act allows for foreign nationals to be easily deported. A government minister simply declares they are a person not of good character. In Mace's case, authorities said his criminal record includes physical assault, violence, possession of firearms, intimidation, and other offenses. The character tests under Section 501 was brought into force in late 2014, and since then, it's been used to deport nearly 3,000 people to New Zealand alone. That's the most common destination country. Many of them have been bikers. Section 501s have been used against Hells Angels, against Bandidos, Comancheros, and many others, as well as other organizations and gangs. The rebels have been getting under the skin of Australian authorities for more than 50 years now. It's a large, homegrown biker club in Australia. They say they're the largest in the country, but they faced more and more competition lately. They could probably do with a man like Mace still in the saddle. There were 30 others who failed the character test and sent packing to New Zealand this week on two charter flights, a down-under version of Con Air. Their convictions included armed robbery, aggravated burglary, assault, assault causing bodily harm, contravention of family violence orders, obtaining property by deception, and unlawful use of motor vehicles. It's probably not a flight New Zealand authorities were looking forward to receiving. Thanks for watching.